I recently went to the drugstore and I picked up these awesome lipsticks from Wet n Wild. And today's video is a first impression review. So here goes and I'm super excited for it. these mega lipsticks from Wet n Wild. I have two of these. Of course, every lipstick review that I do, I always pick up the neutral rosy tones. And the first shade that I have is Mauve Out of Here. This is what the packaging looks like. And this is what Mauve Out of Here looks like. Okay. So it looks like that and I'm going to swatch it for you oh the payoff of these swatches are gorgeous and I can just imagine how pigmented these dollar lipsticks can look like of course elf have their dollar lipsticks and I really love it and I thought about trying other brand dollar lipsticks as well and this is the lipstick brand that I definitely chose to pick out the next shade I have is a Bear It All. Looks like this. It's like a nude. And of course, I'm not a big fan of like nude nude lip sticks, but let's see how nude. Oh. Of course, I think I'm going to be wearing this shade. It's this one right here that's below it. They have a little bit of a shimmer shine to it. It's not sheer at all. And they look pretty okay. To me, they're not matte. Like, even if you apply it by yourself, it, you definitely can be okay without moisturizer. But let's just see how each per, each one will pay off. So the first shade I am going to, I do have on um, moisturizer as we speak. I do have it on. So the first shade that we're going to be testing out is Bear It All, which is the one that I just watched. Reminds me of the Ruby Matte lipstick in the shade Nude Rose. Now, if you guys want a matte version, then of course the Ruby Matte lipsticks can be definitely a choice. If the packaging is totally different, so there is no comparison. But as far as dupe wise, there is. But this one is just the same because I just did a swatch of that one below and I think I'm just going to do another swatch so you guys can see but this one can come off a little bit more pinkish compared to um, the one that we just swatched which is bare it all by uh, by Wet Wild but I think this is, this is pretty good I think we can get past a deep for this so we're going to try now is this one is Moth Out of Here. I decided to go ahead and test out Moth Out of Here with a dry lip formula to see how well they apply with dry lips. Compared to a swatch, you can't really 100% decide on how the product will work, but as far as applying it to your lips, then you probably can definitely tell the better off consistency of everything. So this one is Moth Out of Here. to rub on your lips and it's okay as far as pigmentation as you can see right now this is like a version of um, Max Candy Yum Yum or the Nicki Minaj Viva Glam you guys know that 
lipstick that came out I think two years ago but from the difference of the swatch it does seem matte you know it looks matte but if you look a little closer to the lips it's more of a what's that word I'm looking for it's more kind of like a sheer a little bit but it's still matte so I would try different colors of these lipsticks but for future references if you do not when I say do not love dry lips then definitely apply a moisturizer because it's not like a lip butter it's not something that oh you can go all day and it still will be moisturizing it still do this it still does that no from by the looks of it and everything you're gonna need some um moisturizer as a base but let's see how it would do for transferring because you guys know sometimes lipsticks can just get all over the place so let's see how it would do transfers yes yes it does so if you're gonna kiss someone if you're gonna do this you're gonna do that oh yeah they will transfer but overall, I, I can say that I love it. I love these lipsticks. I don't know how new they are. I don't know when they came out, you know, because I'm always late as far as purchasing <laughs> products. But at the end of the day, at the end of everything, you know, I don't know how long and lasting they will last if I definitely will find a way to do a first impression video if you want to do a first impression video at least get this video up to 20 likes we can do so but as far as the whole you know say a moist thing you know you might want to go ahead like I just said put some lip gloss on or something something to or like a flavorable lip gloss or something it's okay to do that, but if you love like dry formula, lip colors, I mean, go for it. But as far as the packaging, the packaging, I love it. I love the packaging. I love lipsticks where you can actually see the color. Now, the thing about lipsticks with the George stores, they're trying to really kind of improve on that. I do notice myself, they're trying to improve on the packaging and things, and that's a great thing because sometimes you feel like, oh, like the Maybelline um, lipsticks, I think there's the color sensational lipsticks. See how you can barely tell the color, but on the bottom, it shows you the sticker of the color of the lipstick, but when you really swatch it and when you really apply it, it might not be your best choice of color, but which I love this color lipstick, so I'm going to put this back in because we're not going to get off topic, but if you feel like, you know, thumbs up if you feel this drugstore is definitely getting better as far as these, showing the, you know, See, look, I mean, I done picked up several lipsticks, and um, they are doing great. So, as far as everything for this whole review, I like them. I think it's worth a dollar. I think this can be, you know, more than worth. I think it's the price for it. It's price. I think it can be a little bit more than a dollar, you know. I never have tried on a matte lipstick, so I'm not going to go ahead and try my comparisons with that. But as far as everything else, I think they're great. They're great lipsticks. I'm going to give this lipstick about a 10. Or so. I I'm just going to be honest. I'm going to give it about a 10. Not a 5, not a 4, not a 6, not a 3, not a 2, not a 1. I'm going to give it a 10. <laughs> so that was my first impression review of these Wet n Wild Mega Lipsticks. I love these. I just love them. They're great. So comment below if you would like to, for me to do other choices or other colors or just, you know, buy the whole line of these lipsticks or just do a complete swatch video with these two included. So thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Comment below what products you'd like to see next. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.